I'm going to show you that Trinitarians actually made God a liar in John chapter 8. Let me show you. John chapter 8, verse 12 to 59. Give me a lot of reading. Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in dark darkness, but shall have the light of life. That the Pharisees therefore said unto him, Thou bearest record of thyself, thy record is not true. Jesus answered and said unto them, Though I bear record of myself, yet my record is not true. For I know whence I came and whither I go, but ye cannot tell whence I come and whither I go. Ye judge after the flesh, I judge no man. And yet if I judge, my judgment is true, for I am not alone, but I am the Father that sent me. For it is also written in your law that the testimony of two men is true. For I am the one that bear witness of myself, and the Father that sent me beareth witness of me. Then said they unto him, Where is thy father Jesus? Uh, or where is thy father Jesus answered? You neither know me nor my father. If you had known me, you should have known my father also. Hmm, interesting. So, according to the Trinitarian, Jesus and the Father are two separate persons. But Jesus says here, if you've known him, you, you would have known his father also. Hmm, interesting. They're one being. Getting ahead of myself. Uh, these words spake Jesus in the treasury, as he taught in the temple, and no man laid hands on him, for this hour it was not yet come. Then said Jesus again to them, I go my way, and ye shall seek me, and ye shall die in your sins, whether I go, ye cannot come. Then said the Jews, Why will he kill himself, because he saith, Whither I go, ye cannot come? And he said unto them, Ye are from beneath, I am from above, ye are of this world, ye, I am not of this world. I say, oops. I say therefore unto you, that ye shall die in your sins, look at this, for if you believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. Again, what's the context of this passage? What is the context? Talking about the Father. If you believe not that I am he, the Father. How do you answer that? How do you deal with that if you're a Trinitarian? You can't. Trinitarians make God a liar. They're contradicting the very words of Jesus. Then they said unto him, Where art thou? Jesus saith unto them, Even the same that I said unto you from the beginning, I have many things to say and to judge of you, but he that sent me is true, I, I, and I speak to the world those things which I have heard of him. They understood not that he spake to them of the Father. Then Jesus said unto him, When ye have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall ye know that I am he, the Father, and that, ye shall, that I myself, or I do nothing of myself, but as my Father hath taught me, I speak these things. Again, we see this thing, I am he, the context, what's the context, the Father. Jesus is the same being as God the Father. And he that sent me is with me, and the Father the Father hath not left me alone, for I always do those things that please him. As he spake these words, many believed on him. Uh, verse 31. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, If you continue in my word, then you are my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. They answered him, We be Abraham's seed, and were never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou? You shall be ye shall be made free. Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that committeth sin is a servant of sin, and the servant abideth not in the house forever, but the son abideth forever. You, you can also compare this to John. You can also, you know, talking about the house. Compare this with John thirteen thirteen. The Son of Man is in heaven and on earth. Um, for if the Son, if the Son, therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. I know that ye are Abraham's seed, but you seek to kill me, for my because my word has no place in you. I speak not. Or I speak that which I have seen with my father, and ye do that, ye do that which ye have seen with your father. They, uh, verse 39, They answered and said unto him, Abraham is our father. Jesus saith unto them, If Abraham, if ye were Abraham's children, ye would do the works of Abraham. But now ye seek to kill me, a man that has told you the truth, which I have heard of God. This is not Abraham. Ye do the deeds of your father. Then said they to him, We, we be not born of fornication. We have one father, even God. Jesus said unto them, If God were your father, you would love me, for I proceed forth and came from God, neither came I of myself, but he that sent me. Huh, interesting. Uh, why do you not understand my speech, even because you cannot hear my word? Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. That's a, that, that is the trinity. The trinity is a lie. You know, came from the from the devil. That's what that's what it comes down to. The Trinity is a lie from the devil, uh, as seen in John eight forty four. Because I tell you the truth, and you believe me not. Which of you convinceth me of sin? 
and if I say the truth, why do ye not believe me? He does that he that is of God heareth God's word, ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God. Uh, here's where it really gets start, starts to get good. Uh, verse 48, Then Jesus answered the Jews and said unto him, Say we not well, that thou art Samarian and hast a devil? Jesus answered, I have not a devil, but I honor, honor my father, and ye, ye do dishonor me. For I seek not mine own glory, for there is one that seeketh and judgeth. Verily, verily, I say unto you, if a man keep my saying, he shall never see death. Then the Jews uh, said unto him, or then said the Jews unto him, uh, Now we know that thou hast a devil, Abraham is dead, and the prophets, and thou sayest, uh, or thou sayest, if a man keep my saying, he shall never taste of death. Again, sounds like sounds like the kind of thing that God, that God could say. If you keep my saying, you'll never taste of death. Hmm, sounds like the kind of thing that that God would say. People who say that Jesus was only a prophet, he was not God. You know, he says some very godly things that that definitely qualify him as God. Not just the Son of God, which he is absolutely the Son of God, but he is also the Father. How does that work? I don't know. Mystery of godliness. You know, people say, how can Jesus be the Son of God and be the and be God? Well, I don't know. I can't explain God. You know, if you can explain God, you probably have a different God. Because my God is so much bigger, I can't explain him. So, that's my answer. Jesus is the Son of God, absolutely. We see that 100%. But he's also God the Father. How does that work? I don't know. Mystery of godliness. Are the... Uh, Oh yeah, art thou greater than our father Abraham, which is dead, and the prophets are dead, who makest thou thyself? Jesus answered, If I honor myself, my honor is nothing, for it is my father that honoreth me, of whom ye say that he is your God. Uh, ye have not known him, but I know him. Yeah, but I know him. And if, if I should say I know him not, I shall be a liar like unto you. But I know him, and keep his saying. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it, and was glad. And the Jews said unto him, Thou art not fifty years old, and hast thou seen Abraham? Hmm, check, this is a really good one. This is where it gets really good. Verse 58, Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, look at this, Before Abraham was, I am. Hmm. Uh, compare this with Exodus chapter 3, verse 14. God says, I am that I am. Jesus, Jesus he just gave himself God the Father's title. Interesting. And look, look, what they look how the response is. Then took they up stones to cast at him, but Jesus hid himself and went out of, went out of the temple, going uh, through the midst of them, and so passed by. I guarantee you, most of the Trinitarians out there would have actually been with those Pharisees that would, would have stoned Jesus, because Jesus is not God the Father; He's the second person of the Trinity. He just gave himself God the Father's title. He said, "If you believe not that I am He," so I guarantee you, if there were Trinitarians back then, they would have sided with the Pharisees against Jesus. You know, I guarantee you. So. The bottom line is, is that Trinitarians, they make God a liar in John chapter 8, verse I think it's verse 12 to 59. They make God a liar. Because Jesus says, I, before Abraham was, I am, gives himself the Father's title. Says, if you believe not that I am he, context is about the Father. He's calling himself God the Father. They are the same being. Jesus is absolutely the Son of God, but he's also God the Father. And again, you, again, you see how does that work? I don't know. Mystery of godliness. Again, great is the mystery of godliness. But that's the bottom line. Trinitarians make God a liar in John chapter 8, verse 12 to 59. So, don't be deceived by the, trin by the pagan trinity. And, and by the way, the gospel of John is just filled with verses that destroy the trinity. I mean, this is just one chapter alone, part of one chapter. So don't be deceived by this pagan trinity. If you want a refutation of the trinity, just read the gospel of John. It, it's filled with verses that destroy the trinity. So, don't be deceived. God bless you. Goodbye.